Hi, I'm Daniel Niehoff. I'm going to be doing some original songs for you. And uh, these are some songs that I wrote by myself and some songs I wrote with some good friends, but they're all songs that just kind of mean something to me and hopefully they'll mean something to you. Don't Know Just Enough, I wrote that with a gentleman named Mike Astrakhan, and he is a great writer down in uh, Nashville. He's a super nice guy too. And uh, that song, we, we got together, we were spitballing as we usually do when we get together, you know, giving up ideas of, you know, how about this, how about this. We were talking about just um, how, is it, this was uh, before COVID, but during the time whenever there was a lot, of, a lot of shootings going on. And we were talking about how, how grateful we were that we don't understand what goes through somebody's mind to make them do that. If we did understand that, if it did make sense to us, then there would be something wrong with, with being able to comprehend that. Because the truth is, is it, it should be incomprehensible. It should be something that just doesn't make sense. Why my father crammed so much stuff in that house It got to be so full It was hard to even move around But my question was answered When I said, Dad, let's get rid of this junk And he said, son, you don't realize what you're giving up Cause you see a baseball glove But I see a father's love You see a rocking chair But I see your granddad sitting there You see a great toolbox that weighs a ton 
But I see my favorite moments working with you, son. And you may see some things that I don't need, but I see men. Every item had a story As he walked me through our past I realized What my father really had Was a time machine in disguise So I went on a journey Back in time with my old man And when I picked up that gold ring He said Holding history in your hands Cause you see a wedding band But I see a bride on the beach in the sand You see a white lace dress But I see her looking her best You see a beat up old guitar But I see the tool I use to win your mama's heart you may see some things that I don't need, but I see memories. Then he put a leather book in my hands, said it's the most important thing you'll ever read. Every time I thought that I was whole. It was holding me Cause you see words on a page But I see my saving grace You see a golden cross But I see my guide when I was lost You see a Bible about to come apart But I see the light when things got dark Right now you may see something that you don't need But someday you'll look back and sound like me Saying I see memories For me, music started whenever I was eight or nine years old with my dad, um, and so my dad played music. I started playing music uh, pretty early on and writing songs pretty early on. Wrote my first song whenever I was about eight. Absolutely fell in love with um, telling stories. You know, that was, that was the thing that my dad always did and still does and uh, what I wanted to do. I learned that I don't always have to write about myself. I don't always have to write my story necessarily, but there's a lot of stories to tell and, and that's where my love for music comes from is just um, translating these stories into music. For me, that's where music started though, was, was watching my dad play and uh, him coming home and writing a new song just about every day. You can find them on a t-shirt, you can find them on a soul From a drop of barbecue or the girl who let you go There's one hidden under the carpet by the stairs Everybody just walks past it, but I still know it's there Each one has a story, so 
This past year has been a very interesting year, um, aside from, from just the same thing that everybody's dealt with as far as um, just where we've been as a country and, and where we have been with the pandemic and with politics and with just people um, in general. Our apartment building burned down at the beginning of last year and uh, so we were living with my in-laws at the time who were fantastic. They were a huge blessing. It felt like it was kind of a, a full stop, you know. Um, I, uh, I had just come off the trail of, uh, I had won Kerrville Folk Festival down in Texas. Just come off the, the trail of doing that tour, uh, just went out to California and had played a couple shows out there. And when we got back, um, the, the first thing that uh, we hit was tornadoes had come through as we were gone and uh, didn't do any damage to our house, but uh, hit, hit some, uh, some friends of ours and uh, um, just the community there in general. And, and we were ready to get plugged in, ready to try to help out. And then COVID uh, really just hit. I mean, it just was like full force um, and just really knocked us out. The whole year uh, was just kind of a, a bunch of different trials that um, I think more than anything, it reminded me of how much I want to do this. Back in 1862, when battle lines cut through the north and south, I said, dear mother, well, I'm dreaming of the day that I get to make my way back to that house. You know I miss you, and I miss father too, but there's somebody else I can't leave out. Talk to brother, tell him that I love him, although I think he chose the wrong side. But I won't hold that against him. I hope God is with him, and I pray we both make It don't matter who they're fighting for 
They're just praying that they both survive this war. If they make it home, there won't be battle lines. They'll greet each other arms open wide. And that's why they ride. If you talk to brother, Tell him that I love him Although I think he chose the wrong side But I won't hold that against him I hope God is with him And I pray we both make it home alive They're both praying that they make it home alive Civil War letters came out of uh, me saying, I'm, I've been co-writing so much that I need something that's me. So I was in traffic on my way home listening to uh, NPR and uh, they were talking about uh, these letters. And, uh, and I'd always wanted to write a song about the Civil War, um, about this juxtaposition of two brothers um, who were fighting on opposite sides. Listening to that, I was like, that's the way to do it. That's their way of saying the same thing, um, even though they're on different sides is they're both writing to their mom and their dad who they love, and they're both writing about the brother who they love who's on the other side. And after I was done, I was like, nobody's gonna wanna hear this. Uh, and uh, I was like, this is such a weird song uh, about the Civil War, uh, nobody's gonna care about this. And I played it out in Nashville at a writer's round, and I had so many people who, um, I, I didn't realize how relevant it was to today. I think that's really what it boiled down to is, is to me, I was writing a song about history um, without realizing just how much of that infighting is still going on. At the end of the day, it's, it's still about seeing the humanity on the other side. If you find a wallet, bring it back with everything inside. Your buddy's had too many Say slide over, I'll drive If your family's short on groceries Help them pay the tab Someone stranded on the highway Help them get some gas Go the extra mile, spend the extra time Don't let the chance to love somebody ever pass you by It ain't always easy, but love them anyway Even if it don't come back to you Do the right thing, it's the right thing to do Offer him your seat If your brother does you wrong Turn the other cheek If your heart's already taken Don't act like it's not No, someone's waiting for you, so give them all you got. Go the extra mile, spend the extra time. Don't let the chance to love somebody ever pass you by. It ain't always easy to love them anyway. Even if it don't come back to you Do the right thing, it's the right thing to do The choices we make could change a lot They might change you So go the extra 
extra mile Spend the extra time Don't let the chance to love somebody Ever pass you by It ain't always easy To love them anyway Even if it don't come back to you Even if nobody's watching you Somebody told you to Just do the right thing Cause it's the right thing to do I would listen to Ray Charles and I'd go to school and you know that was uh, in the in the 90s and 2000s and uh, I'd go to school and be like, man, it's like, have y'all ever heard of this guy, Ray Charles? He's so good. And they're like, uh, he's not on the radio. It's like, where are you hearing this guy? You know, they'd be like listening to NSYNC and Britney Spears. And, uh, and I had no interest in that. Ray Charles, because he, he had so much soul into everything he did. Ray Charles just, I mean, nobody wanted to sing next to him because nobody was going to feel the music more than Ray was. Um, and James Taylor, nobody wanted to play next to him because uh, nobody was going to play as well and sing and have the full package like he did. Jason Isbell, Tyler Childers, Sturgill Simpson, Coulter Wall, Chris Stapleton, um, a lot of those guys being from Kentucky with Tyler, Sturgill, and, and uh, Chris. And so I love the musical history of our, our state too um, because there is a massive amount of history from all the way back to Loretta Lynn and then even before that up in the mountains of the Appalachians and, uh, and how that's where country music and, and folk music was born. And so those have been the biggest influences for sure for me. It's a war in that home but so cold in my soul I wish I fit into your plans but houses aren't meant for snowmen so I'll stand guard outside I watch out But the real me you'll never know Cause snowmen don't go in the house Snowmen can't give love Snowmen claim their plot of ground Never give it up Snowmen never run away Even when the seasons change They may melt but they stay in the ground That day just the life of a snowman These tracks are my history Little footprints following These kids think that I can feel They don't know I'm not real There's no magic in this heart Frosty may have taught you that I'm sorry kids but it's not true There's just some things I'll never do Snowmen don't go in the house Snowmen can't give love Snowmen claim their plot of ground And never give it up Snowmen never run away Even when the seasons change They may melt but they stay in the ground That they claim yeah, That's just the life of a snowman dream of warmth I've never known And I long to come in from this cold Oh, I want to feel the warmth I've never known But 
that ain't for this soul. Snowmen don't go in the house. Snowmen can't give love. Snowmen claim their plot of ground and never give it up. Snowmen never run away, even when the seasons change. They may melt, but they stay in the ground that they play. Yeah, that's just the life. Sad, sad life. That's the life of a snowman. A lot of times, artists will go one way or go the other way, but more times than not, I feel like they snake. <laughs> you know, they go back and forth. They have these moments of clarity of they're like, you know what? At the end of the day, and I, that's what I kind of try to remind myself. But at the end of the day. Like I'm playing music because I love to play music, not because I think I'm the best, not because I want the world to hear me, but because I love what I'm doing. And if I can touch one person, that's what it's about. Not about being the, the greatest musician of all time. That title comes with something else. It comes with the fact that if you are known as one of the greatest songwriters of all time, it means you have touched so many lives along the way. And to me, that's what it's about. I would love that title because of what I've done to get there, not because of the title that and the prestige that it brings, because um, to me it's about touching people's lives and, and making a difference in people's lives. Well, I want to meet Jolene, looking those emerald eyes. Ask if she let dear Dolly be, or if she stole that guy. And I want to meet that gambler that taught Kenny how to lie. Ask him what he's running from and why. And those stories made us all sing along, but there's more to the song. Everybody's heard him on the radio. It always made me wonder if there's more to know Cause those stories can't be over They're just waiting to be told Is it up to me to see where they go? I want to meet that fiddle player Johnny Who beat the devil at his game Find out if he lived in him if he lived in fame Meet Pat Desperado And see if he made a home Or is he still out riding fences Doomed to be alone yeah, Those stories made us all sing along But there's more to the song Everybody's heard him on the radio But it always made Stories can't be over, they're just waiting to be told. Is it up to me to see where they go? Everybody's heard on the radio It always made me wonder if there's more to know Those stories can't be over They're just waiting to be told Is it up to me? Oh, I think it's up to me I'll take it up on me To tell To the song was 
uh, kind of born out of this idea that there's a lot of songs that leave you hanging in three minutes or four minutes or however long the song is. It's really hard to fit everything in there. At the end of Jolene, you don't know if Jolene stole Dolly's man or not. The gambler, uh, like there's this incredibly interesting character who is on this train, who's running from something that you don't really know what the story is. I just love those stories and I love the fact that there's, there's so much meat in them and it leaves you wanting more. I played it at the Bluebird Cafe uh, right before Don Schlitz, who wrote The Gambler, was getting up to play. Halfway making a joke and halfway just clearing my, my heart out whenever I, I was up there and said, you have no idea how nerve wracking it is to first off be playing a song that you just wrote at the Bluebird, but to be playing it whenever you reference a song that Don Schlitz <laughs> wrote in the song and you're like, what the heck, Don? Like, why didn't you tell me the rest of the story? <laughs> Son, let's go to town I'll show you my old stomping grounds It only takes a ten mile drive Go twenty years back in time There was a soda fountain at the old drugstore Before Doc had to close the door it's where my high school used to be, but now it's just a memory. Well, I know that you can't see it, but when I sit here, I still feel it. The street names are etched into my bones. That sewer cap was home plate, old Miss Johnson's driveway, third base. Back before they tore down all. If you didn't live it, you wouldn't know that it's the same road. The only thing still here's the part. Lie in the grass and watch the stars. And now the street lights burn too bright, and the buildings block the sky. Well, I know that you can't see it, but when I sit here, I still feel it. The street names are etched into my bones. That sewer home plate old miss johnson's driveway third base back before they tore down all the homes if you didn't live it you wouldn't know that it's the same road
I've written a ton of songs. Um, I've got probably close to 500 songs that I've written, and uh, um, I've recorded five. Uh, so <laughs> um, it seems like every 100 songs I get a good one, I guess. And right now I've been scheduling uh, a lot of shows and trying to get back out there as things begin to open back up. Tyler Childers, he was, he was very uh, um, poignant whenever he said, you know, if you want to make it in music, it's not going to be through uh, going to Nashville. It's going to be through packing your stuff up in a van, getting on the road and playing as many shows as you can, playing your music and playing it well. If I can get in front of somebody and sing my songs, then uh, I feel like most of the time I can make them a believer. That's the main project is playing, but, um, but also just trying to, trying to work on an EP probably uh, end of this year. I grew up on public television Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers, my addiction Too poor to afford habits So when I'd need a fix I'd twist those bunny ears Until the picture came in crisp And it was good night, Austin City Limits thousand miles from nowhere, Kentucky Those telethons I wish I could have given Half of what came through that TV screen When I felt alone, they knew just what I'd need They'd remind me there were viewers like I learned my imagination is a place I hide away if I need to escape I'd ride a big red dog and call him my best friend Slide down the spectrum to the reading rainbow's end and It was good night, Austin City Land miles from nowhere, Kentucky Those telethons I wish I could have given Half of what came through that TV screen and I felt alone, they knew just what I'd need They'd remind me there were viewers like me If I'm ever needing a reminder About my life before bridges got small At the dental in the box of midfit wires Convinces me to cut the cable off And it's a good night, Austin City Limits Thousand miles from nowhere, Kentucky. Those telethons I wish I'd give. Half of what came through that TV screen. When I felt alone, they knew just what I'd need. And every time I feel lost, they can find me. Yeah, they remind me. There are viewers like me. Viewers like me came because I I grew up a, a PBS kid, you know, like I was uh, I grew up watching Mr. Rogers and I grew up watching Bob Ross and uh, and all the other stuff, New Yankee Workshop and Dragon Tales and like Austin City Limits, like everything that they had to offer, you know, because we had some bunny ears and that's what we could get. I got together with a guy named Davis Corley, who is a, a fantastic writer uh, down in Nashville. He grew up the same way, like he was. I was a, a poor Kentucky kid. He was a poor Tennessee kid. He was like, let's write something folky. I was like, how do you feel about public television? He was like, I love it. <laughs> and so, uh, lo and behold, we, uh, we started writing and, uh, and that's what came out. There is something comforting about seeing that at the end of an episode 
of how this, this broadcast or this program was made uh, possible from viewers like you. Songs for Ghosts is uh, is going to be on the next EP that I, I put out. It's I don't know what every song on the next EP is going to be yet, but I've got a couple of them that are locked in for sure. I wrote that song thinking it wasn't going to be like, but a another kind of throwaway song to be honest with you. A lot more of me in this song than I intended whenever I started, um, and sometimes that's how it works. And uh, the songs that mean the most to me are the songs I write for me. Um, and the songs that I put myself into, and the songs that, at the end of the day, I want it to touch somebody's life, and I want somebody to get something out of it. And so Songs for Ghost is, is kind of a, an homage to the guys who did that before me. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing it my way, and if I never have a song on the radio, or I never have a song in the top 40, it is what it is. Uh, but. I'm gonna love every single song I, I play and I'm gonna play songs that mean something to me and hopefully they'll mean something to the people listening to them. Something I don't believe. So 
I'm writing songs for ghosts I never hear on the radio Just cause I was born In the wrong time I keep writing what I feel Cause every ear that hears Can't deny the truth Written in Song to me the most are the ones I wrote for ghosts. I still love writing songs about pain, about love lost in passing trains. But I don't know what for. No one wants that anymore I guess I'm too stubborn to change So I'm writing songs for ghosts I never hear on the radio Just cause I songs I mean the most are the ones I wrote for ghosts But when I cross over to the other side Do you think there's a chance I might get to hear one of the great Sing a song of my heart Cause I'm writing songs for ghosts I'll never hear on the radio Just cause I was born In the wrong time But I'm Oh, the 